Yes. Like, damn, this game is still good. What are you doing here? Oh, God. Oh, no, stop dancing. Stop dancing, please. What up, y'all? Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. And never in a million years would I ever think or imagine that this film would be a live action. I don't know how, but I can tell you like this Hollywood is running out of ideas. But here it is, here it is, here it is. So, here we hear ye. Let me do my review for Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, come on. Like, every and their mother and children knows what Sonic is, okay? I was raised on playing Sonic the Hedgehog. To me, the second one on Sega Mega Drive was the It was my favorite. It's the biggest reason why I bought the Sega Mega Drive Mini, just because of that game. It has a big nostalgia factor in my life. So, to me, Sonic, I'm not, like, <laughs> Except the second one, I'm not the biggest fan. I remember the cartoon show in the 90s uh, starring uh, Steve Urkel. And to me, you know, even though that, that, that cartoon show was okay, you know, Sonic was never the same except the second one. But now they've done a live action one. And golly, like I said, I never thought that they would do a live action. And it's here. It's finally here. This film is directed by Jeff Fowler, and this film is starring James Marston, Ben Swartz, Tika Sumter, and Jim Effing Carey. <laughs> wow. And the plot of the film is that the quick, small, blue hedgehog is here in the real world. A small town police officer needs to help Sonic to defeat Robotnik. Before doing my review, you already know about the controversy behind the film. Uh, the first trailer that came out, I think I did a trailer reaction for that, uh, they showed us uh, Sonic, and that Sonic was just weird. It was even more weird than this one. And yeah, that Sonic was just weird and a lot of people hated it. So Paramount decided to delay the film and they had to fix it. And so it looks like the original one. And after dropping the second trailer, and a lot of people were on board, here's the film now. And I'm just going straight to the gunshot slinger and say that this film is 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 pretty decent. This film is sometimes charming, but you already seen these type of films before. Uh, do I think this film is doing great stuff? Of course. First of all, the good thing is Ben Swartz and Jim Carrey. Ben Swartz as Sonic, he is so likable and charming. So seeing him doing the voice for Sonic was just weird because I like Ben Swartz. And I was like, oh, but that's just Ben Swartz. But after a while, I was like, okay, you know, he sounds young. He sounds likable. He sounds like he's this quick, in your face, fun dude or a hedgehog that is funny. And I think that he brings the most charm in this film. And also Jim Carrey as Robotnik, really, really funny. Some stuff lands really, really good. Uh, especially I already seen the trailer, but the hi-fi one, I saw it on the trailer, I was like, okay, that's the most funny thing in the trailer. But even in the film, it is really, really funny. I laughed a couple of times with Jim Carrey. You know, Jim Carrey, uh, to me, he, he's been quite selective uh, with his roles recently and to do Sonic, I was just a little bit skeptic because I was like, why do you want to do a family film? But I understand, uh, it's probably because of his grandkids or kids knowing about this property. He does a great job being Robotnik, even though he doesn't look like Robotnik. Robotnik is a big guy, bald guy with glasses. Jim Carrey doesn't look like him, but I think that he brought the personality of Robotnik. I think that he did it. Pretty decent job. But some of the jokes that he does also is just so juvenile in a way that it's just like, oh, come on, don't do this. I wanted it to be a little bit more uh, adult hitting. 
uh, or adult style, uh, adult style, a little bit more adult style, but it wasn't. It was just more, you know, typical. Here, kids, we're doing this for you, and it's like, oh no, 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 no. But I think most of all, I think most of the comedy that Jim Carrey does in his film, uh, it lands. But be prepared of some of the jokes missing. But you know, Ben Swartz and Jim Carrey is the best thing about this film. Uh, let's talk about the CGI. I think the CGI, it is good. It is really good. I think it's better in the actual film than the trailer. But some stuff wasn't really there to a hundred. Uh, I think that they had to just. If they was given six more months, I think that they would improve the CGI more. But, you know, I think that they did the best they could with the time they had. And Sonic is, you know, he's there. He's there. And he looks good for the time they were given. And I think that he he does a great job. Uh, or when it comes to CGI, he does a great job. Especially in the beginning when you see the world. The world where Sonic lives is freaking beautiful. It is amazing. Most of that is just CGI all the way. And it's like, wow, it is beautiful to look at. But some other stuff, you know, the robots and stuff like that, the effects on that, it's, it's not really there. I think it was just pretty lacking. But Sonic, who is the main attraction when it comes to the CGI, is good. So I think the CGI works great. And uh, you know, this is a fast ride adventure, and I think that a lot of people will like this. It it, it does its biggest job, and it is to entertain you people. Uh, it really does entertain you guys, and I think that the original fast of the property will have fun, even though this film is a lot kids orientated i think that you guys will still enjoy it uh just because of the nostalgia all the way from the music to the world of sonic to some of the stuff he was doing uh, even the pose that he does on the cover of the game is here in the film and it's like great job man great job but I think that people will like it. Like me, I'm not the biggest fan, but I was still like, yeah, this is pretty good. I think a lot of people will like this who really is in love with Sonic overall as the property. So I think Sega and Paramount did a great, great job with doing that. Yeah, that is most of the thing that I really like. I think that the direction is obviously that it's not going to be the best direction. It is an okay direction. I think that Jeff Fowler did the best he could. I think that this is his directorial debut. I don't know anything about Jeff Fowler at all, but I think that he was, you know, he did he did a great job uh, in some places, but overall as a film, I think that the direction is, is solid. It's not like, wow, it's, breath, it's not breathtaking, but it's still pretty solid. So yeah, let me talk about the other stuff that I think will, let me just talk about the stuff I did not like that much with this film and it, the first thing is James Marston as uh, police officer Tom I don't remember his name but Tom I think that James Marston is a he is he is really likable in this film and I like the banter and the relationship between Sonic and Tom but I just I don't see the point of Tom being in this film I know that gotta have real humans also they got to interact with Sonic, but I think that this film would be a thousand times better if he was just out of this film because I don't see the point of him being there except that they need to have a human that can relate to the audience. It's just, I don't see the point. It just feels a bit unnecessary. But even though I felt like that, I think that James Marston did, he did a decent job, but... You know, I don't, he, to me, he was just there uh, in the end when I was thinking about this film rather than him being somebody who, ex, you know, develops Sonic as a character or doing something with the plot. He was not doing anything. He was just uh, so unnecessary. He became more of a plot. He became more of a tool rather than somebody who can further the plot. 
and it kind of suck, you know. <laughs> it really, really suck. But anyway, yeah, I think that James Marsden was he was he was still likable for the stuff he was doing, but him as the character was just a bit unnecessary, to be honest. And Tika Sumter also as Tom's girlfriend. I don't remember her <laughs> at all. I don't remember her at all. And that kind of sucked because I wanted it. I really wanted to remember her, but she was just there. And I think that Tika Sumter was just so wasted uh, in this film. She was doing what she was doing, but she was just there rather than being somebody important in this film. She was just there. It kind of sucked. And another thing that I did not like is of, uh, the third act. It, it was just a, a straight roller coaster of fun. To me, it just felt a bit shallow rather than doing something important with this film. And it never drove the film to the better way. It just became, it, it felt more like this. The, the first and second act was, it was good, while the third act. I think it just went on a screeching hold and it just became this shallow action in your face kamikaze craziness and I really wanted it to even though it got a high action I wanted it to do something with the character of Sonic you know it's the typical Robotnik versus Sonic Sonic needs to save the world uh, from Robotnik and it's like okay I've seen this and it, it wasn't doing anything for the film rather than just you know being a more of a show-off and it kind of sucked but you've seen this typical stuff a thousand times before you know the the evil eccentric guy that the government hires needs to take down this alien from the another world and it's like okay you've seen this stuff a thousand times and it's like okay well you do something do something different and um, another thing i did not like with this film is like i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you like this like i said some of the funny stuff it really hits but to me 60 percent of the jokes works 40 percent of the jokes did not work at all and jokes that was not funny sucked it really sucked it was just like come on man and i know they had to do it because this film is kid friendly but it's like no some of the jokes was just like i said juvenile like i wanted it to be a little bit more of a risk taker uh but it wasn't it was just like so juvenile and so childish that it was like oh look we did this in this film and some of the kids that were watching uh, was watching with me was not laughing especially on those jokes it was like golly no 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 I, 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 even one kid was like screaming oh god no <laughs> because of one of the jokes it was like, oh man it was like blah. it kind of sucks but yeah uh except that i think that this film overall it does its job and taking this property from sega and giving us this film to me i think they did a great job this is a fun ride through and through and i think guys you will have a lot of fun to see this but be prepared that this film is more for kids rather than adults and people who are in love with the property so my rating of sonic i'll give sonic 2.8 out of 5 uh like i said after all of the controversy uh I was pretty surprised that this film was not a mess because I was ready to hate this film, but I did not hate this film. I thought this film was pretty charming and pretty decent. You know, Sonic works well, but just seeing this type of film a thousand times, this is the typical Smurf uh, template type of film, and it kind of sucked, but 
for what we was given, I thought that they did a pretty okay job with it. You know, Sonic is charming. He is he is really really likable, and I liked the relationship with Tom. But to me, I think Tom as the character was just unnecessary. And also, Jim Carrey as Robotnik or evil Robotnik. I think he was funny uh, for the most part, but some of the jokes were just like, it was really a face palm. <laughs> but I think that he did a great job. You know, he's likable. Jim Carrey did what he did. And this film gave me some, some chuckles. But my favorite scene was in the trailer, and that was the high five thing. I was laughing my ass off with that one. But to me, I think that you guys will still enjoy this film because the humor in this film is good. The CGI on Sonic and some of the stuff really works. And like I said, come on, what do you expect? What do you expect? You know. It works great, man. It works great for you people who really like the property. But I think that this film dragged a little bit too long and the third act was lacking because I liked the first act and the second act. It was charming. It did what it had to do. It was giving us, you know, some chuckles and some stuff which is amazing to watch. But... The third, I, I don't know what happened. It felt like Jeff was just saying stop it and gave us this action in your face explosion fest rather than give us something that was, rather than giving us a conclusion that works well with this film that was presented in the first two acts. But still, I wasn't bored, you know. I had fun and I think that you guys will still enjoy this film. Anyways, guys, what do you think about Sonic the Hedgehog? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Write your comments down below and let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to see it. My name is Alfie, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. And that was my review for the film Sonic the Hedgehog. Until next time, guys, I'm giving you out there. Hey, Random Black Guy.